Okay, hello. I am Professor Rotella, and I'm just going to show you real quick how to get a render out of Maya. This is far, this is going to be far from the best way to render something, but as far as the quickest, the quickest way, it is that. Now to get, and the simplest way, uh, just like most straightforward, Okay, so by default, uh, I'm going to render in Arnold, and I might as well, because that's the best renderer that comes with Maya. And to render something, first things first, you're going to need a light, because otherwise you'll hit render, and it will render black. Um, and we don't need black, we need our object. So we're going to need to create a light, because it is our object is technically there in the renderer, but we just can't see it because it's not lit. Um, just like in real life, if there's no light, you cannot see. So first, we're gonna make a light. Uh, now, usually, uh, you want to work with whatever lights come with your renderer. So there's the Arnold menu, and you can use any number of different Arnold lights. But for simplicity's sake, I'm just gonna use a default Maya light. And I'm going to use the spotlight right here. So if I go to create lights, spotlight, I click it, it will create the light. And if I press, so I just move it upwards, you can see the little light node here. And you can position it and aim it uh, just by using your manipulators. You can aim it at your object. But I'm going to do this little trick, sort of, and say, go up to my panels menu above my viewport and say, look through selected. And then I will, and now I am the light. You can see at the bottom of my screen it says spotlight one, meaning that my view is that of spotlight number one. And anything within the green circle is what is going to be lit and essentially is what is going to render. So now that I have it positioned over what I want to render, I'm going to go back to panels, perspective, and then hit perspective, uh, persp. And you can see back here, now I'm in my perspective camera once more. Now if I hit render, which I'm still in Arnold render, which is again by default, if I hit render, it will still render black. And the reason why it's still rendering black is just because our light isn't bright enough. So I can just go here in my attribute editor over on the right side and I can just turn the intensity, intensity instead of one, I'm going to turn it to a thousand. And you don't need to be afraid of big numbers. They won't like increase your render time or whatever. Uh, and now uh, I will hit render once more, and now that my light is bright enough, I render my mug. And uh, that's really all there is to it. If you want to add like a little softness to the edge, you can increase the penumbra angle, which will, you can see the preview adds a little softness to the edge and you might want to render, and you can add more than one light to a scene, you might want to render from an angle where more of your object is lit. And then, as just a tip, uh, if you click this here, the resolution gate, then you'll get this little preview window, and whatever is in the clear window is what is going to be rendered when you hit render. And you can see, there you go. And now, lastly, uh, to re change it, because by default you're going to render in 960 by 540. Now to change it so that you render in full 19 by, 1920 by 1080 HD, you just need to go into your render settings, which you can find right here. It's the clapboard with the gear as opposed to the plain clapboard. 
Uh, you can also change to your, there's a whole render, rendering menu set. You can change from your modeling menus to your rendering menus. There's this render tab, and you can access your render settings here, uh, as well as access just the render current frame button, which is what this is as a shortcut. But uh, yeah, you can also bring up your render settings here. To change the resolution that you're rendering in, uh, or rather your image dimensions, uh, you can just go down here and you can either change it manually right here or you can just select from the list there is HD 1080 and then now when I render I'll just hit the render button I will render in full 1920 by 1080 HD and you know it's going to take a little bit longer because you're rendering many more pixels uh, and bada bing bada boom and we're done and you can see down here at the bottom that I'm rendering full 1920 by 1080 and render time 0 0.24 and then in, if you want to save just this image the quickest way to do that is just to go up to file and save image and change it to what type of image you want to save it as, whether it be a JPEG or a PNG. And I can save it. I'll just I'll save it in my images folder, my my images folder, which is on this project. It's still just at the default uh, documents project location. But I can say just like mug render and hit save. Now if I navigate to there, which it's documents, and if I go down to Maya, and then projects, and then default, it should be here my images, and there's my mug render, which is quite dark there, but yeah, and that's all there is to it and uh, yeah and uh, there's of course better practices to rendering and like adding better materials to your mug and or not just your mug any object and things like that but we'll get into those in at a later date in a different tutorial that's that's just like the quickest way to get a render out you just make a light uh, you can just render from any camera and you just make it so the light's bright enough and so that you're looking at it and you're good to go. That's basically what it comes down to. Okay. But, uh, yeah. So I hope that helps. And, uh, that's it. Happy rendering, or happy beginner's rendering, at least. <laughs>